When we have temperature dependence on the rate constant K, we can use the Arrhenius equation where K equal to A times exponential of negative a, Ea over Rt. A is the frequency factor, Ea is the activation energy, R is the gas constant, and T is the temperature. When we put ln on both sides of the equation, we can get the ln K equal to negative Ea over Rt plus ln A. So we rearrange back the equation uh, into a, and relate into a straight line graph where, can, where we can get the ln K equal to ln A minus Ea over R put in bracket 1 over t. So the y is ln k, c is the ln a and negative e, ea over r is the gradient from the graph and x is the 1 over t. So this is the temperature dependence on rate constant. Increasing the temperature of a reaction generally speeds up the process meaning that the rate constant increases and then the rate of reaction also increases. However, when we have two different K values, K1 and K2 at different temperature, so we can combine both of the Arrhenius equation in the form of straight line graph like this. So ln K1 over K2 equal to Ea over R and then we put here 1 over T final minus 1 over T initial. An example here. Calculate the activation energy for the reaction given and from the observed K1 at 25 degrees C is 3.46 times 10 to the power of minus 5 per second and K2 at 55 degrees C is 1.5 times 10 to the power of minus 3 per second. So we use this formula. So you just need to substitute the values or the information given in the question into the formula so we can get the Ea is 1.02 times 10 to, uh, to the power of 5 joule per mole. We need to convert the temperature from degree C to Kelvin and the R constant that we use is 8.314.